it's about 6.30 in the morning, Saturday. The ladies are out of town, so that means it's time to go hunting and go to the farm. So we got the two dirt bikes, got Bradley's truck over there, and we are about to head on out hunting and then go to the farm. Hopefully we can bring you guys some decent content. See how it goes. First stop before hunting, Walmart. Where Bradley just got his first hunting license. But uh, he didn't get his license to uh, put his gun in an accessible position, so he's getting that now. Oh my god, dude, it's totally buried up there, huh? Yeah. Well, he's gonna get that out, and that way it'll be accessible for when we reach the spot, and then we'll go see if we can get some squirrels. We made it to the hunting area. It's a beautiful day. So we're gonna pull the guns out here, and he's gonna use his Maverick, and I'm gonna use my granddaddy shotgun, and I'll show you that here in a second. This is a Remington 1100 semi-auto. It's uh, engraved. It's from 1985, and it is in immaculate condition. He probably hasn't ever even fired a full box of shells out of this. I took it to the field last weekend and got two squirrels with it, so it's very important to honor my granddad by using this, and I'm glad that I got this out of anyone in the family because other people might have you know, set this in a closet and forgot about it, but I'm going to actually use this. So I'm going to use this, and Bradley's going to use his Maverick, so a little bit of air power plus firepower for today. It's a really nice state park. I've got the 12 gauge granddaddy gun there. Bradley's got his Maverick in there, 30 cal. All right, Pit Vipers on, FX Maverick. We're gonna head through that gate and do some hunting. The smell of fresh pines in this place and it is kind of a big dark forest. And this path goes for miles and it is a groomed path. So it's kind of nice to be able to just basically go on a hike with guns and shoot some squirrels in public land and hopefully not get shot by other hillbillies out here. Yeah, it'd be good. But yeah, it'd be really good. hopefully we get something today for you guys. And it's air gun versus shotgun for today. Air gun, shotgun. Couldn't ask for a nicer day. Haven't seen anything yet. Good job. Well, that air shooter's camo shirt really works well. Shit, he's a little still kicking. I wish I had a touch. And no, the, the initial shot didn't blast his head off like that. He was still breathing, so I let him have nice one. Nice shot. But uh, got to honor the granddad with the... That's a good shot right there. Yeah, I kind of uh, mangled his dome because he was he was not quite dead. But uh, all right, we're not leaving empty-handed. So shotgun one. Heck yeah, good shot. Airgun zero for now. Very and cool. I am just completely. My legs are going to be just shredded. That was in a in a briar patch like I've never seen. So totally worth it. He's lucky I went even got Good him. shot, man. First shot of the day too. Oh yeah. Cool. It's not too often. 
you find public land with a nice spot to chill like this. What's up, buddy? You just vibing? Yeah, enjoying the view. Well, I'm going to sit in that chair right there, have me an orange, in a Gatorade, and then we're going to see if we can get anything else. He's got his 30 cal Maverick there, and of course I got Granddad's shotgun, which already took one squirrel, but we haven't really been seeing anything in here. But look at this area, man. This is pretty cool. Just vibing. All right, break time. I wonder how far down that is. Yeet. Pretty far. <laughs> I would not want to fall down there. A little longer than a few minutes later. And that looks like a lion's mane mushroom, which is extremely edible and it looks like it's in perfect shape. So bro, take this. I'm gonna see. Can I get it down? I can't reach that. I might have to blow it down with the shotgun. That's perfect, dude. I just don't want to damage that tree that much by doing that. If I can come at an angle this way. Mm. Or. Hey. Dude. So that's the lion's mane that we just got down and let's see the top of it. The top is a little past its prime but the bottom smells and looks good so I'm going to take a big portion of that and just put it in this cooler with that frozen water bottle and then that way we can cook some of that up with uh dude I think that would be really good with those bbq pork tips. Throw a little bit of that in there slather it on those buns oh that's going to be good. So yeah we may have only got one squirrel but at least we got, dude, that's like, what, two pounds? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to look up the um, so price per pound on that stuff because I'm sure it's pretty good. That's the first one I've ever found, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Cool. Awesome. All right, we took off some of the bad, and look at that good mushroom under there. So I'm going to just cut off some of the badness of this, and then we're going to have some of this with dinner because this is a beautiful lion's mane. So what I'll do is, and you can see how meaty this is, Wow, it smells She's thick. It smells yeah. like fresh, good mushroom, right? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that meat, dude. I've never found one of these before. It's even kind of hard to cut through. Like, it's fresh. It is as fresh as fresh can get. Look at that. Wow. I probably need to cook that first. I just kind of want to eat it. It looks so good. Now, oh, there's a big chunk in there. Try to cut off any dirt and stuff oh my god dude this thing is nice there's so much of it I'll just get any of the browning off it's okay we can scrap some of that but we'll just wash this later cut into the big meat parts of it and that is a find bro yeah it's pretty that's sweet. good i've never found one before but you see people frothing at the mouth when they see these good perfect we just drank our waters and we have that frozen bottle in there so yeah baby cool mushroom hunting all right dude so we'll head back but now that we got that huge mushroom here's what i'm thinking take that mushroom cut off patty sized slabs of it throw it in a pan with some butter and whatever spices we may have even if it's just salt and then we'll brown them up and what we could do is with those pretzel buns and those pork burnt ends with that slathered in barbecue sauce. We'll cook that up and we'll put all of that on a sandwich, including the mushroom patty soaked in barbecue sauce and it'll be the shit. Yeah, good find. Oh yeah. We're now back at the truck. We made it. That was, what would you say? Like maybe four miles of walking? Oh yeah. Easily but uh, four. <laughs> yeah, easily four. We got one squirrel, but we got two to four pounds of lion's mane mushroom which usually goes for about 20 bucks a pound so that was the whole hunt today and we'll do a little bit of cooking with that later we have some ideas we have limited supplies with us but i think we can still cook some of that up and make it really good and then i'm going to try to take the rest home if i can get it there but uh yeah i think that's going to do it we got everything packed back up nobody stole our dirt bikes so that's a bonus right and now we're going to head on over to the farm brother we made it to the farm 
and there's a new shed up there so that's pretty cool but first we're gonna have to cross a little creek here part of the game hopefully it's not too deep So this is the farm. He just got the windmill and aerator running again, which I wish I had a brought a fishing rod because before it was algae over the whole lake, like you see in the corner back there. But since we got the aerator going, things are cleared up and there's lots of bass in there. So anyway, I think we'll uh, ride some dirt bikes. See how it goes. You ready to ride some bikes? Oh yeah. I'm gonna wear this goofy getup so I can get you guys some footage of us riding, show you the farm. Sorry we didn't shoot any more guns, you know. Once the beers come out, kind of that kind of floats away. So we're gonna rip these bikes. Let's do it. Yep. Just ride them to warm them up. Dude, I'm glad you guys came. We've got the lion's mane mushroom, good two to three pounds, really good. This was better than 10 squirrels. And I've got some barbecue pork burnt ends. Now this requires, per the packaging, to just boil it in water for like 15 minutes. And what we're gonna do is, we don't have much, but I did stop and get some, I've got some butter and like some garlic seasoning. So we're gonna basically cut this up, kind of clean it, fry some mushroom pieces in garlic butter, and then once the pork burnt ends are done, we're gonna put them on pretzel buns and it is gonna be awesome. Dude, look at this meat. That is like hard, hard meat. So I'm gonna just cut this. I get. I was gonna try to do it into like patties, but I'll cut them into manageable chunks and then we'll fry them up. And when they go in that barbecue and pork, dude, it's gonna be some next level stuff. So I'm just gonna clean them off with some water and then butcher them up and then we'll show you guys what it looks like when I have them cleaned because you don't wanna sit through me just cutting these up. So let's do that, yeah? Check out what we have here. So we have, basically I've cut the mushroom into like patties and I'm gonna try to fry these up and they'll fit perfectly on the pulled pork or the pork burn ends burgers. And then the rest of the pieces, we'll just saute them and just eat them raw. Well, not raw, but we'll eat them cooked and it'll be really good. So 
We'll have sandwiches and just mushrooms. So I'm really stoked about this because I've never found one of these before. I've seen them online. Everyone always is stoked when they find one, but yeah, so we'll cook it up next. That's boiling. Bloop. Okay, first things first, we're gonna get this butter going. Okay, good. And we don't need it super blazing, but we're gonna melt that butter. And then I'm gonna come over here, grab these. I've got some Old Bay. We have very limited stuff. I have seasoned salt and I have some garlic powder. And that should be enough to get these things going really well. We've got the pork burnt ends already just sitting there being hot under there. And then over here, we've got some nice pretzel buns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute those mushrooms and then we're gonna put them in. They're like, I tried to make them as patties. So we're gonna saute them like that. And then we're just gonna slap each one of them with some of those pork bird ends and slather it in barbecue sauce. And that should be pretty good. So let's see how these turn out. Oh yeah. This is gonna be amazing. more old bay. That old bay. Gotta get the old bay, dude. This is gonna be so good, dude. Look at this. Oh yeah. Got that lion's mane. A little bit more garlic powder. Oh yeah. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so good. It smells amazing. Oh. You saw how I, I seasoned this side of it? Caught it today. Cooked it up today. Caught, Caught that mushroom. Caught it. Put that right on top of that butter. You see that move right there? What's that called? Uh, it's called the butter flop. Yeah, baby. These are gonna be so good. Dude. This is gonna be so good. You are not gonna believe how good this looks. A little Old Bay. If you're watching this, you cannot smell the air right now, but it smells so good around these parts. And we are gonna finish sauteing these. Actually, these boys right here are pretty much done. I don't wanna get them too much. So we'll let those cool down. And then these, me and you are gonna eat these right here. These are not going on sandwiches. These are me and you. And then we'll make sandwiches out of them. So amazing. I hope the camera's picking it up because it's, pre it's pretty dark. All right. Not sure if you can see this. We've got the pork burnt ends right here. And oh my God, it smells so good. So what we're going to do, is we're just going to take each one of these patties and just totally submerge it like that. Oh, nice. All right. So what we'll do is just soak these up with some barbecue sauce for a minute in this. Dude, these are, this is going to be one of the best meals you've ever had. Guaranteed. I wish I had a spoon, but we're very limited in what we have. We did not expect to find a giant lion's mane mushroom. What, three pounds? I would say it was about three pounds. It was heavy. And that's, I think they go for about 20 bucks a pound or so, probably more in the city in Chicago. So we will. $20 a pound for a mushroom. Yeah, dude, they're rare. So that's, we're gonna do that. And uh, we'll let these kinda sit for a bit in there and just kind of get all nice and let that soak in a little bit and try to scoop some from the bottom up all right so we'll let that sit for a bit and I'll put this over it and then me and you right now here buddy oh you've got too many things going on at once cheers dude Oh my god. It's like it's like lobster, dude. I That's, told you. I would I, if you told me here's some lobster, I'd be like, oh, this is good lobster. Go here's like lobster. Oh my god, dude. Oh my and god. The old bay so seasoning. That's one of the best things I've ever had. The butter. See the butter? Taste the butter. And the olive oil. Good combo. We we made do with what we had, dude. Alright, so we got the right. the burnt ends. Those are gonna get just slathered right on top. We got the mushroom patties down below. 
This is gonna be so good. <laughs> this is gonna be the best thing you've ever eaten. All right, so how how about you guys come over and we'll put buns up tops on here and jam a little bit more in. They're ready. They're ready. All right, boys, what do you think of these sandwiches? Nice all good. Best, probably one of the best sandwiches you've maybe ever had. Best farm sandwich ever. Best farm sandwich. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Hands down, best farm sandwich. Farm sandwich. Yeah, baby. Cheers, boys.